one decoupage napkin and two varieties of bottle and yes this is of course possible can you see that how uh, vintage and rustic this looks and this looks so fresh and so new so yes i have done this video this uh, white bottle is already live on my channel the tutorial is there you can check it out and today we are going to make this one Welcome back to my channel friends this side Sonia here and I'm so excited that I forgot to say welcome back because I did ju I just want to start this video as soon as possible so yes of course in this video we are going to make something really interesting and I am going to share my experience of uh, my failures to uh in creating this particular project so let's get started Welcome back to my channel friends, this is Sonia here and today I am going to do decoupage but with a twist and that is going to be really 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 interesting because I am going to play around with some other supplies too. Now to start with I need to um, have my beautiful decoupage napkin on my bottle for sure and that's the reason I am applying my gesso so as you can see that I'm not applying gesso on my complete bottle and there is a reason that I just want to make sure uh, that I don't do gesso too much I just need to stick my napkin only on one portion now I'm using my heat gun to speed up the drying process and uh, <coughs> sorry and uh, yes I will be doing good two coats of gesso to this so I'm done with one coat and very quickly on the top of it I'm having my second coat of gesso and you can already see the difference like this is more darker this is so light and that's the reason I always say that having a white base is always a very good idea but it depends on kind of look and feel you want to have now let me clean up my Brush. I just think that I should do some more gesso here yeah so I'm done with my gesso work now and this is uh, like I have planned to make it a really really quick video of course I'm going to do some really interesting detailing to this bottle you must have already seen the picture by now but I <laughs> I don't have any idea that how is it going to look at times I feel that this is so interesting that when I'm making this I have no idea but when you watch it you have the complete idea that how the final product is going to look and I think that is something which is really really interesting okay now my gesso has dried out really well you can see that I it is not coming to my hands at all so that's the best part of using your heat gun now I have already uh, taken up a piece of my napkin which I want to use uh, yes I have done so 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 many videos with this pattern napkin I think I've already used three four napkins uh, so in each napkin you get four figures but I have used good two three napkins by now and I absolutely love this one and I just feel that this is so generic this is so even if it has a girl in the pink, the typical pink shade, but I personally feel that it has so much of uh, beauty that you can use this n number of times. Now, let me dry up my paint brush which I had used for gesso. So, nowadays I have started uh, doing it this way that if I'm using one brush, I try to use that one or maximum two brush for one project earlier i was like using at least five six brushes at times so i'm just trying to avoid that now so here is my diy mm -hmm. decoupage glue if you want you can use any of the matte or glossy or glue for sticking up your decoupage napkin now very quickly i'm applying my glue on my gesso surface and now I'll start sticking this one so I'll start from one corner and you have to be a little careful if you have used your heat gun because it uh, tends to make your uh, bottle a little warmer so just be a little careful it is not going to burn you but be a little careful there 
okay i just did a mistake i should have first completed the sticking work on the top and then move to the other sides but that's okay i think i can manage that much now and now i'll start sticking this now very quickly i'm just going to brush it up with the same brush and yeah i think this looks quite good let me close up this jar let me wash my brush and now i am going to use my <coughs> heat gun so heat gun is one of like my must have tools when i am doing my uh, decoupage or my mixed media projects i absolutely absolutely love this now as i'm using my heat gun i'm just also trying to make sure that wherever i see the wrinkles or bubbles i'm just pressing my napkin so once my napkin has dried out 70 80% i just press it well so that you cannot see any wrinkles or bubbles out there okay this looks beautiful actually this looks so amazing <clears throat> cool now it's time to seal my project yes i am going to seal it up and i will be using my same decoupage glue to seal it up uh, so here i will be just using it on my design of the napkin i'm not going to do the complete coverage on like other sides also i'll just cover my design from the napkin okay so i'm done with sealing this up again i will be using my heat gun Okay, so my bottle has dried out completely. This is looking fab. I love, love, love this napkin. And now it's time to move on to the next step. And here I'm going to use my crackle paste. And I'm going to apply this on my complete bottle. Now with the crackle paste, uh, I prefer to use my flat brushes so that it's easy uh, to spread them on your surface. Okay, so I am done with my crackle medium. Now I will be using my heat gun to speed up the drying process of this.
maybe i should let it dry on the uh, with the natural uh, cold air cause i can see that it's spilling off and if i just stop i can see the greens coming down on my table so let me do it this way that let me uh switch on the fan on a full speed let it dry for some time and then we'll see how it looks okay guys so i had to wash my bottle cause uh, the crackle medium was just coming off and like i said um i think it was coming out because i had not prepped up my base so it was a lesson for me uh, it's been so long time that i have used my crackle medium but I think it was good that I tried and I could share my experience with you all. Now the best part is just because I had sealed my napkin, I actually actually washed my bottle really well, and that's the reason I'm just using my uh, heat gun for quick drying so that again I can start working on this bottle. Trust me, I really felt bad that uh, I have wasted so much of my crackle medium. but i think it's good so as you can see that wherever i had my gesso and on if on that surface i had used my crackle medium it has worked well so yes that is the reason i am going to use my gesso to prep up my base completely so yeah my bottle has dried out well now and now let's move on to the next step and that is using our gesso so let's start with our gesso work and fingers crossed i really hope that this time it works now usually when i have to do my gesso i highly 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 recommend and prefer using my uh, sponge dauber but like i said i want to use my crackle paste here so i am absolutely fine using my paint brush because even if there are marks it is just going to hide away time has come to use my crackle paste i'm so excited and i really really hope that this works out now so yeah my gesso has dried out well and i'm going to apply a good amount of my crackle medium now the only uh, problem what i'm finding is that uh, on gesso it's a little difficult to figure out that where you have already put your crackle medium so i'm going to uh, go with one face by face like one corner of the bottle or well, like one side of the bottle and then i'll be using it on the other side so yeah i hope that this works out this time i just realized that when i opened my jar today of the crackle medium so there was some black fungus on the top of it so i had to clean that and I just hope that I use it frequently and it does not get rinsed off because it will be a complete waste like these are not the uh, deep uh, like cheap uh, craft supplies so definitely I don't want to see my jars getting wasted and here I am done I'm trying to just cover up as much as I 
can so that I can have some really nice and good effect on uh, of my crackle paste after it dries out. Okay, so here I am done. Yeah, it is done. Now I need to leave this to dry for a good amount of time and then we will be back. I hope, I really hope that this works out. Okay, so my crackle medium has dried out. This is looking absolutely gorgeous. Can you see the cracks here? And it looks amazing, amazing, amazing. So yes, a lesson learned that we should prep up our base before uh, start using our uh, crackle mediums that is really going to help now here I have taken a green color chalk paint and I thought of using a nice green color shade to it so I am going to add a good amount of water because I want a very uh, pastel shade of green color now I will start from the top and I will start coloring my bottle now I have to be really careful because I don't want to uh, rub my brush too much on my crackle paste and I just want to make sure that my paste is highlighted so can you see that how beautiful this looks this looks amazing Now I have added water to my paint. If you want, you can uh, use your paints directly. It's just that I wanted that lighter effect on my bottle. Okay. Now see, just because we had uh, given a coat of decoupage glue, on our uh, decoupage napkin it has made it easier for me to clean up any excessive color on my napkin so very quickly I will wipe it off and I'll keep on adding these paints everywhere So my chalk paint has also dried out well and you can see that how beautiful my uh, crackle effect looks on my bottle and now I'm going to use my glazing uh, paste and I'm going to use this on my bottle. Now for the glazing paste I'll just dab some on my fingers and I'm going to rub it on the uh, cracks here and there not on my complete bottle. Now this is just 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 to highlight my cracked effect areas and you have to be really gentle when you are doing doing this and you can see that how this looks so this is how it is going to give a nice effect to your cracks.
pas de doigt de nos lèvres Les doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter Le bonheur insulté Je sens six ou d'un fait Des souvenirs Impossibles à effacer Le bonheur est passé Pas de doigt de nos lèvres Les doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter Le bonheur insulté Je sens six ou d'un fait Des souvenirs Impossibles à effacer So my uh, glazing effect is done. This is looking beautiful. You can see the tau, this green color and my uh, gold glaze is looking amazing, amazing. This is such a nice rustic look which uh, you can give to your bottles. And now I am going to first uh, seal this one with uh, one layer of varnish. Here is my varnish jar. Uh, this is my paint brush, and I want to do this very quickly. Is the uh, reason that uh, the glaze takes a little time to dry out, and if I am using my varnish on this, it will blend a bit, which I want to see. I want to look it a bit more natural and rustic. So that's the reason. Uh, I'm hurrying up a little bit so that uh, if my glaze is wet, it will smudge a bit and give a nice look. And I'm repeating the same on my napkin. And now you can see that it has just got a coat of color and it looks so, so, so beautiful. So you can just imagine that the, with one napkin, like I said, I have done so so many varieties of work and that's the reason I absolutely love uh, having these kind of generic napkins which give you so much of scope of work and this looks so beautiful this looks so graceful and so rustic and I absolutely love this one now I'm going to let this dry so that we can move on to the next step Okay, so my varnish, uh, like I have already run my heat gun on this, so but it will take some time to dry out because it has a layer of gesso. It has, oh my nail paint is matching. <laughs> yeah, so it has a layer of gesso. It has a layer of crackle paste. Uh, then of course in this area, it has uh, uh, two coats of gesso, then decoupage, napkin, mod podge and so many things. So it will take time to dry out. Uh, till then, I just thought that... Uh, why not i should start taking the bottle cover so i have not painted it at all the only reason is i wanted to try out my twine on this one so that's the reason i was like i had not started doing my paint work on the lid so yeah once it is done let me cut this so here i'm using tacky tape uh one of the very obvious reason is that tacky tapes are so less messy and of course it sticks so 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 well to your base and i want to add that dark brown twine so i thought having my tacky tape will be a good idea now I'm going to cover it up completely
so here it this is how it looks after drying out this looks amazingly amazingly beautiful now first i want to do some stamping on this now as you know that i love 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 my script stamp so here i'm going to use my script stamp and by this time of course my uh, texture my gesso my crackle medium everything has dried out so well so now what I'm doing is I'm just doing some random stamping 
here and there and this is just to make sure that it looks good and it should not look incomplete like if you see this part and if you this part like there's a huge difference when you do the stamping it cover ups so much of your space it gives a complete new look to your project so i'm doing my script stamping if you want you can try out uh, other designs also i'm sharing the links down below for the stamps and these ink pads also now let me do some more stamping something on the edges also just to make sure that they get highlighted so yes stamping is almost done Okay, so here I'm done with my stamping and my bottle is looking absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Like I have done so many of my uh, bottle arts, but this one is really, really, really beautiful. Now it's time to do the final seal up and for that I am going to use my water-based varnish. Yes, um, I will be giving good 2-3 coats of varnish to this. Uh, just to make sure that it does not comes out at all so by this time my one coat of varnish has already done I've done stamping on the top of it so yeah you will have to be a little careful when you are doing this because you need to make sure that each layer has dried out well then only you move on to this step now very quickly rubbing off my brush on all the sides and yes one thing that wherever I feel that I need to um, do a good coat of varnish like on the thread work I just feel that I should add some more uh, uh, coat to it so I will be using the same varnish and this will uh, just make sure that it sticks well and it absorbs everything well and it sticks and stays for longer time so yes with this my video tutorial is done I really really hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial if you guys have any queries please do comment below I will be more 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 than happy to help you all thank you so much for watching and please do try this out I'm sure that you are going to love this one thank you bye bye Impossible à effacer, le bonheur est passé, à deux doigts de m'enlever, le doigt si près.